Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, this is part two of how to make money at Christmas with Amazon. What I want to cover in this part two guide is the pieces that you're going to need to have in place so you don't make any of the common mistakes found when you're trying to rank the sites. It will also cover how to rank a lot faster and it will also cover how you want to build the sites coming into 2020 and it's really really easy. Um, I'm going to walk you through it. I hope you find it easy as well. It's, it's just a few points that have changed with the way Google changes and you'll see that really what you're doing is you're doing things that most people don't do. And I'll show you why I recommend this and I'll show you some rankings and I'll show you inside the site and show you how to put it all together. So as a quick recap, if you missed part one, I've linked to it in this video. Part one will talk more about the best niches. It will talk about evergreen niches coming up to Christmas and it will also talk about doing like Christmas related specific niches like toys and so on and which one you should go for very, very briefly so it's not overlapping into part one. You can do evergreen or Christmas stuff and you've still got time. Now I'm going to show you how if you build a site like this and you actually do it and you start today and you do it and you get the content on that I recommend, come back and leave me a comment and let me know how you're doing and, and show the site. Or you don't have to show the site online but send the site to me um, so I can have a look because I know that you'll be picking up um, rankings and I'll walk you through exactly how to do it. Just on that point, if you want a head start and you want this done for you, do check out the quick start offer. You get a 13,000 word site built for you. I've only got two spots for this um, left at this price. So a couple of things. The discount code is when you come here, if you type in for you, F-O-R-Y-O-U, if you type that into the checkout page, I'll show you. So if you type that in, you will get, remember to push this arrow, click this arrow, and you will get an $80 discount, 169 And for that, you get a 13,000 word Amazon affiliate site built for you and a free 5,000 word Christmas site. Bear in mind, with your free Christmas site, you can have an evergreen niche. To, 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 uh, you don't have to have a Christmas specific niche. Um, 2,000 words per review and 3,000 word buyer's guide. You get five reviews of 2,000 words and you get one 3,000 word buyer's guide. And the reason I keep pushing this offer and want everyone on it, to be quite honest, is because it's one of the best offers I've done um, in terms of value. And that's not a sales pitch as such. It's because I'm writing all the content myself. So I just wanted to do something really, really cool and something that you won't find anywhere else. So this is content written by myself. In fact, I'll just show you so you can see the quality. Okay, this is some content that I'm actually writing at the minute for someone's site. And you can see there's a lot of it. This actually came out at 2018 words. Um, and I'm going to walk you through it as well. The content is a big, big part of it. But if you want a site built to that standard, um, the reason it's such a great deal, last thing I'll say on it, is because you'll probably already know this, guys, but how much does it cost you to go and get a 2,000-word article written for you? Well, anywhere from, you know, quality, um, not just, you know, not just really cheap, bad. I mean, like, proper quality so it reads well. You're looking at anywhere from $30 per article. At the absolute bare minimum, you've struggled to find someone writing for that. I think it will cost you... 60 70 dollars an article so you can see how quickly it would mount up in cost it'd be really really good and that's not including the site built up for you that's not including the seo and having your links put in and the entire site so that's why that's such a good offer because if you build your sites like this i know that you're going to get some um, traction and i'm going to explain that in this video so do jump on that offer if you want to get on because there's literally only two spots and I'd love to have you it is the final two spots I've opened it closed it reopened it and um, I wanted to do it as a prequel to the seven day quick start but now's the last time to get on at that price so I'd love to have you just remember to go through the link at the bottom of this YouTube video if you're watching on Facebook it will be in the box if you're watching on YouTube it's in the description the link and when you come here watch the video for more if you need more information and uh, remember that discount code for you, F-O-R-Y-O-U. And furthermore, you also get some cool bonuses as well. You get all of these. So 
so if you need more help with actually how to build the sites the 30 day do it with me course is a 30 day course you can go through a video a day do the stuff and you'll be an expert within 30 days you know if you're following the video and you'll be able to get sites out there you also get some content templates speed builder templates to help you write the content you also get a problem solved webinar that covers everything all the questions that came in about Amazon affiliate sites um, what do I do if it's not ranking what do I do to get traffic it's all covered in there you get that for free you get A's on traffic secrets that's a specific course that will show you how to send traffic and you get the get results Facebook group as well which is a private group for anyone that's got a site so when you're building them up if you have any questions you could you can simply ask there so I'd love to have you final two spots so I know I've gone on and on and on about this let's get on with the video if you want in grab one of the spots and remember the coupon code for you F O R Y O U okay let's get into the video I want to show you in this video I want to give you a plan that will allow you to get up and ranked even before Christmas I want to start off with showing you how to build the sites and I won't cover this in depth I'm just going to give you some pointers in this video I've got the seven day quick start coming um, but I, wa I want to cover the number one things that you can do to rank quickly okay and the best thing I thought I'd do for this is show you one of my sites and also uh, another site as well and I'll explain why so when you when you're trying to do this I've got flipper here and one of the best things that you can do is go to flipper and run a search for Amazon and make sure that you looking at websites and make sure that you're looking at um, review and blog websites and make sure that you're looking at um, you know that will bring up all these results and make sure you look at the highest priced or, or, or the most active and you can have a look through and the reason being is what number one if you struggled with picking a niche from the part one video it will give you some excellent niches um, without having to second guess it because if they're selling on flipper and they're making four hundred and thirty four dollars per month in this case with this site and it sold for twenty five thousand dollars you already know it's a good niche furthermore you've got all the keywords already there on display because they had to sell the site and reveal everything so that's a really really good way to find niches but I want to so if we have a look at this and we have a look at the actual flipper listing you can see here four hundred and thirty four dollars per month you can see the page views here you can see the organic search counts for 91 percent of the traffic okay and you can see like the earnings as well going up here um, till they sold the site so it happened fairly quickly um, and you can also see all the all the things they've done to um, increase the SEO and uh, and increase the traffic and the reason I'm showing you this is is for this reason number one thing I want to tell you is the biggest area if you want to rank an Amazon affiliate site quickly I'll show you one of mine in a second it's the content that's the hardest thing okay there's no way around the content so my number one guideline is be prepared to write a lot of content um, there's no way to sugarcoat that and there's also no way that I've ever found to get an article spinner to work or, or anything like that so if you're using gimmicky stuff that it looks brilliant but if you're doing that your site it's not that it won't rank but it won't rank quickly or it won't get any traction so what you want to do there's two big big parts of it that you you want to write this down number one the content which I explain and number two the SEO you need to be good at that okay now I'm not saying that you have to be an expert writer because I'm definitely not but when we look at this site the 420 expert guide when we look at this and you're looking at the 10 plus best LED grow lights of 2019 okay you can see here as we scroll down there's loads of content on it okay really really in-depth content YouTube video embeds um, the second one or oh, oh, sorry the third one here with a YouTube embed um, links on it you don't have to go this mad per page so I'm not saying you have to write 20,000 word posts or anything like that but I am saying this this is the guideline moving into 2020 I highly recommend making your reviews around about the 2,000 word mark now I just showed you an article that I'm writing for someone's site that was uh, 2018 words and and that will be the biggest uh, plus point for your site 
okay when you're building a site especially if you want to make money before christmas and going into the christmas period the number one thing that you can do starting from now is is write more content per review we'll start with the reviews okay because if you just get into this sort of um you can run a risk of getting into a pattern where you go right i'm just going to add these to the site i've added one review then another then another then another but if it's falling down on either the seo or the content it won't rank as well okay i'll just show you in here that in the um this is one of my sites the work site radio site it's doing okay it makes a few sales um, I haven't built it up as much as I would have liked because I haven't had the time to do it but it's only got um, 10 uh, sorry it's only got nine product reviews on it okay and it does okay and it ranks and even with this site I have done it I'll just show you inside so you can see the sort of content I recommend and then I'll talk about the SEO so even with this I've only done this this whole review is only 1275 words okay but the the main thing I want to impart is, is that it has to be written for the end user okay so if you're just writing and I know this is quite a lot to cover in just a small video like this but if you're just writing mentioning a certain keyword every five minutes and you're writing very very much to try and get ranked on Google it will normally have the opposite effect okay you want to write for the actual end user meaning when they go to buy this worksite radio what would their top five questions be about it can you use it on the job site is it sturdy enough does the bluetooth work will it be loud enough is it heavy to carry they would be all the relevant questions around this this product whereas if you're writing and saying things like the dewalt dcr 015 this is the best worksite radio to buy if you're looking to buy the dewalt dcr 015 you will not be disappointed by this worksite radio out of all the worksite radios that we've reviewed the dewalt dcr 015 is the best if you want to buy the dewalt dcr 015 at amazon click the link below because the dewalt dcr 015 is the best i mean i'm just doing an example there because i'm sort of speaking the video but you can see how clumsy that sounded and it they it would have no interest so my number one thing is way way more content it is hard to do but you just break it down in fact i've got a seven day quick start if you're struggling with the content part don't worry because i've got a free seven day quick start coming that will guide you through this a bit more in depth coming into 2020 but it's one of the biggest things that you can do is make sure that you've actually got um more content but written covering the main things that people would want to know if you're buying a rowing machine what do you want to know okay like in features and so on so it's putting a bit of thought in and not just ticking the boxes and saying oh yeah I've got the site up and I've added this much content bear in mind it's this it's not the amount of content that you add to a site it does help because you get a ping every time you do it but it's writing your content in a certain way that actually offers value to the end user so a quick example I've got like an introduction here and then I've got the review and it, and it talks about all the different features and then I've gone into main reasons to buy and I've gone in and it's not even that larger review this okay and then I've gone into the main features again and just picking out the best ones so sound quality they will want to know that easy to use with improved functionality um, customer opinion so the customer opinion of Amazon the people reviewing and then a verdict and then straight to the um, banner link as, as well and that's only one two seven five so it ranks okay that one's ranking but I recommend you do your reviews around 2,000 words and the beauty is this okay so if you're really really phased out 2,000 words I have trouble writing a thousand you won't need as much content to start seeing some massive changes okay and it also sets you apart if you've ever been worried about competition because you know everyone doing this and so on it sets you apart to everyone just adding like 500 600 a thousand words and as long as you write it as explained so as long as you write it for the end user your site will make more sense and and you will go up the rankings okay now a couple of things um the seo part of it so we covered the content uh, short takeaway bullet points way more content and make it really really good um 
you know good quality content and so on and make it for the end user the second thing SEO you need to have the SEO down meaning you need to know how to do it but you don't need to be an absolute expert at it you just need to understand how it works so you need to understand that when you're linking um, if you just did all that content the the 2000 words your site will do okay but if you've got your content and you've got it all linking together and so on and it's working well it will do far far better so you need to understand how the linking works in terms of your actual um, site so when you're interlinking the posts and pages you need to know how that works now as a really simple guide for you I recommend for your first site that you do 10 to 15 product reviews okay 10 to 15 product reviews and then I also recommend that you um, do a top 10 list as well okay so you've got a top 10 list and um, you link the product reviews back to the top 10 list okay so you'd end up with like um, 10 15 20 product reviews and then you you'd link them back to a top 10 page okay and then you also put other links where necessary like DeWalt here is going through to my brand page for DeWalt and you've you, you you've also got that there like um, you know you, you you've got I've got a few links going to the DeWalt website so if you do that and you understand the SEO it's a big topic you need to be able to have this down like the tags and you need to know how to write the um, uh, like the the SEO stuff down here okay like your meta description and your title but you don't have to agonize over that as long as the contents good as long as you're interlinking I'll give you a really quick example let's say you were doing rowing machines and you've reviewed one rowing machine and it's best for people starting fitness okay and then you review a professional one and you mention in the professional one if you're looking for a good starter rowing machine check out our previous review okay so I'll cover this more in the um, seven day quick start but I wanted to give you uh, just a, just a quick guide of how to do this and if you're building Christmas sites that will actually get you up and running so number one content being far more writing for people rather than Google number two having the SEO on point and not being a master at it okay but making sure that it's all interlinking um, number three you need to have tracking on your site so I'll just show you this okay so when I'm talking about tracking and and just one thing if you can hear like a lawnmower in the background that's because my gardener must have known I'm gonna do a video and decided to turn up at the precise moment so I hope that doesn't drown out the video apologies for that um, I just want to talk about the tracking quickly so we covered the content guidelines and don't worry again I've got more coming up on this but we covered the content guidelines we have covered the SEO guidelines and now I want to talk about the tracking okay so th there's only three main parts to it the content the SEO and I'm going to give you a little plan as well that would be the fourth part but the content the SEO and the tracking now content and SEO I've sort of given you a rough guideline on um, tracking all you need to start with is Google Analytics which is Google so you can just type in Google Analytics and if you're wondering how to set it up I'm going to cover in the seven day quick start coming up and you can also type in a search just type in how to set up Google Analytics with a WordPress blog and there'll be thousands of guides showing you how to do it okay main things that you need to understand Google Analytics is to see how many page views you've actually got okay how long they stayed for what what the bounce rate of your site is which means whether they view your site and click off or whether they view your site and check out a few posts and pages so but Google Analytics is just your traffic and then the search console here is um, your position your position and your clicks okay so you need to have that in place first and and it will be, give you that information so as you're as you're writing your sites and as you're building your sites up you will notice that it will start to pick up in the search console and if you do it the way I'm telling you like with those long reviews good SEO um, good keywords okay I'll do another video on keywords and so on but you'll see why I haven't covered it fully in here because I'm going to give you a little plan um, and tell you why it's relevant but you'll see your site starts to get indexed first and bear in mind this has only got nine pieces of content on it so it's not doing anything spectacular it's made a few sales and it will be a brilliant site to build up but it's not absolutely 
building up because I've only put nine posts on it okay but it's getting clicks it's getting impressions it's getting positions going up um, you know and getting picked up on relevant key phrases and you will start to notice that if you do an Amazon site like the worksite radio one um, or like the 8k TV one I've shown and you put the content on it 2,000 words per post per review and then your keyword stuff as well that I'll explain in another video and you've got it all interlinking you will start to get traction quickly and um, you'll start to get indexed first and by quickly I'll, I'll just give you <coughs> excuse me I'll just give you a rough guideline on quickly what I mean is let's say you're doing 2,000 word reviews by the time you've got five six pieces of content that are written well and that are SEO'd and interlinking you will be indexed and start to pick up some traction and then as you build linking back to your content as it all interlinks and you start to build up it will go up and up and up the rankings and then what you do is you use these tools Google Analytics and Search Console primarily to see your most viewed pages your, high, your highest ranking keywords, how many clicks they're bringing in. It does unfortunately run a little bit behind, but it's one of the best tools for it because it's Google. You'll be able to see as it's building up. Then what you do is you start to add keywords in place to get ranked for the bigger like worksite radio, best worksite radio. Now, I just want to cover that worksite radio has only got nine product reviews on I have not done any keywords I've not done any backlinks any YouTube videos or any social media whatsoever on that site and because it's only got reviews on I haven't even covered worksite radio or top 10 worksite radio and it's starting to get picked up and gets get clicked so when I actually start doing pages for that it will build up again furthermore last thing I want to say this is this is SEO so I'm, I know we're speaking about Amazon affiliate sites here but anything that you want to rank you can use these principles to do so okay so I hope that will make sense as an overview so as a plan if you want to get ranked let's say you picked your niche in that part one video if you want to get ranked I recommend doing 15 to 20 product reviews there's no set figure on that meaning it's not like I'm saying do 10 absolutely or 20 or 30 what you want to do I'll just show you okay so what you want to do I've just picked a niche I'm not saying go for this niche at all check out that part one for for information on niches but what I'm saying is this before you get into keywords very very important because otherwise what happens if you get into keywords now you spend so long researching keywords and competition when if you have all these keywords you're not going you're not going to be able to rank on them straight off the bat because of the way Google works if you start out with a fresh domain and you've got all of these keywords unless you're going to go so so unless you're going to go straight into an authority site setup a bit like the 8k TV site that I've been showing that's just got keywords on unless you're going to do that which takes a bit longer and is harder to write when you're building Amazon affiliate sites I recommend putting just the best sellers in your area so rowing machines for instance and getting a good 20 15 20 reviews of 2000 words on your site and try to make sure that all the reviews interlink and what I mean by that is if we're reviewing the concept 2 model D okay which is a really professional one nine hundred and forty five dollars when we go to review the second bestseller we could put something like um, if you're looking for something like in the concept 2 we could put something like if you're looking for something you can use at home that isn't that professional but it will do the job and is far far cheaper go for the sunny health and fitness and that's the way you interlink your content I hope that makes sense but if you've got 20 product reviews okay 15 to 20 product reviews 2,000 words per um, post interlinking well SEO is done well featured images tags keywords and meta description is done well and you've got it set up on Google Analytics and you've got it set up on search console get that done and then leave me a comment on this video and and show me the site send me an email and show me the site and I will eat my hat if you're not getting some traction in the search console and also ranking for some phrases as well and that's how you build a site that you can flip that's how you can build a site that will give you feedback in the search console so so once you've done that a lot of work but once you've done that when you then look at your search console and you can see the clicks coming in 
all you have to do then is look at your most viewed pages and make sure that the click-through rate is good to Amazon okay like your banner your banners and your clicks going free to Amazon and that's how you can build it up because then this is very very important point so you've got all these reviews on then you can start attacking the keywords so I'll just explain that a bit now I know it's a longer video okay so let's say we were at that point okay this is why you don't want to go straight into keywords first unless you're building a authority site straight off the bat but let's say we've got that we got the 20 product reviews 2000 words per review all interlinking where applicable to do so well we've got 110,000 searches for rowing machine okay then if we go to the keyword ideas off the uber suggest tool and here we go rowing machine workout best rowing machine 8100 searches benefits to rowing machine rowing machine benefits rowing machine concept 2 which is that one we were looking at anyway you target these phrases then so we've got a we've got a site now 20 posts okay of the top rowing machines in this case of so the best sellers list 2000 words per review seo properly then when you start to add pages that have got your keywords on like best row machine you can do top 10 or top 20 lists and you can write um, best row machine for 2020 these are the top 20 row machines you should buy in 2020 something like that for the title and then you've got in at number one in at number two in at number three and you've got a short description of each and you're linking back to the reviews that you've already done you can say stuff like click here to check out a review of the concept D okay um, or the concept two row machine click here to check out a review and you're also linking through to Amazon and then because it's linking back to 20 previous posts that have started to get picked up in Google that gives you a far better chance of actually getting ranked for your key phrases so don't fall into the trap when you're wanting to do this and get quicker rankings of researching masses of keywords when your site's not ready for it okay so get to that point where you've got at least 10 like I've shown you the worksite radio is ranking but it's only got nine product reviews so I'm not really looking to add keywords onto it just yet because it won't do much okay get all your product reviews on first a lot more than most people 20 product reviews 2000 words all interlinking really really good content then when you do your keyword content like your pages like um, row machine exercises new like row machine for home so what you do if you're writing an article on that is you put the title as which is the best row machine to buy for home use okay you don't just add row machine for home it wouldn't make sense to read you incorporate the keyword into a proper sentence okay so like um, best row machine for home use here's our top three choices for 2020 and then you're linking back to those reviews that you've done and that's what will push you up and that's what will allow you to get ranked for some pretty tasty phrases like this one like the 8k one I've shown before 13 million 800 thousand results 8k TV brands and here it is ranking at number three now that was a bit different because I actually did it just keyword straight away but a lot of content a lot of interlinking no backlinks built no plug uh, sorry no like software on there no article spinners any of that so I wanted to give you a really good foundation I hope that's made sense main takeaways is the content thing okay the second takeaway would be understanding SEO understand what you're doing with SEO it's not about learning all the different layouts and LSI keywords and silo site layouts at least that's I've worked with SEO since about 2002 2003 and I've never found you have to know all of that stuff what you need to know how to do is produce really really good content content that's written for people to read rather than Google and have lots of content to link to that is also good for people okay and then if you do that and and to prove it do that do what I've just outlaid 20 reviews 2,000 words per post set it up on Google Analytics and set it up on the search console and if you're having any problems ranking send me the site okay and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll be getting rankings and chances are a good number of sales as well and that's how you build a proper 
Amazon affiliate site that will SEO and rank. I'll do some more videos like this. I've got the seven day quick start coming as well. Um, let me know what you thought of that. I hope that made sense. I hope it wasn't too vague. I tried to include as much information as I can without making the video a monster, a really, really long one. But if you'd follow that plan and you get started now, look, here we go. Let's go down here. We're on the 12th. If you get started now, you will you'll be able to get some traction before the end of October and by the bit middle of November if you were to add that look one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty okay twenty twenty takes us to the first of November but if you were to do that one a day you you'd have those twenty review posts on there by the 1st of November and then by mid-November you start attacking some keywords from the 1st by mid-November you're there and if you've built an evergreen site that will also do well at Christmas which is anything that sells at Christmas you'll do well so get going with that plan I've got some more help coming but I hope that really really helps you and if you want a huge head start do pick up this offer again I know I keep pushing it because it's a really really great offer there's only 21 hours left um, 13,000 words written for you and a free Christmas site of 5,000 words and the benefits of it is you get everything you need to know in terms of courses so you've got all the bonuses and um, you can go through the bonuses so it goes far more in depth about how to build the sites and so on and it will give you that head start so you can just log in and start adding content so just remember the coupon code for you F O R Y O U. I hope you enjoyed that guys I tried to pack as much into a fairly short video um, let me know if you're going to be attempting it let me know if you need any help and good luck to you and I've got more coming in the seven day quick start but just follow that keep it really really simple if you've got five ten pieces of content on your site by all means send it to me and I'll have a look and make sure that you're on the right track biggest fall down areas I see people that can't get ranked is number one using all manner of plugins that you don't really need um, article spinners all that stuff I won't talk about that I'm just giving you the the things I see number two the content just ticking the boxes with content just adding 10 reviews to your site if they're not well written and they're not providing value and they're not updated and you're not adding to your site it won't get the traction needed number three spending ages on the keyword thing when it's not really time okay that's just something if you enjoy that don't get me wrong by all means but if you're doing it to make money fast um, don't worry about keywords until you've got enough content on your site in the way of reviews to be able to link back to to get this um, to so Google will actually consider ranking you for bigger phrases okay I hope that makes sense I enjoyed making it for you. Do check out that offer before it goes. It's through the link below. Just remember the coupon code for you, F O R Y O U, and I'd love to build you a site. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day, and I'll speak to you really, really soon. Cheers.